gather round the shoveled ones and welcome to Cherry Pop. Today we're going to go see Long Legs. Now, let me talk for a moment about the marketing campaign. I have not been this invested into a marketing campaign since Blair Witch, which came out in like 1999. So with Long Legs, they put up the billboards, which is cool. They also put up like a crime site, like a, a website that, you know, talked about some of the, the crimes. Also in the Seattle Times, they had like a couple of different symbols and stuff in there that, you know, they placed in there for for the movie you also have the phone number you could call i mean just a lot of really cool things that they're doing it i do have a small quirk if you're not interested in my small quirk and you want to know what i thought about this movie i will have the times listed in the description so you can just jump over to the time of what i thought about the movie okay so my quirk it's it's something in my brain i, I don't know what it is as a matter of fact i was talking to a friend the other day about this quirk and you know he was quite question to me on you know well i wonder why this this you know we we talked it out and i you know it, it's it's a little strange but words words are powerful okay we know this right whenever i see the word thriller attached to a movie whenever i see a word like psychological attached to a movie and when i see a word suspense attached to a movie my height goes down so, I, I don't really understand that. I know that's just a quirk I have when I see that. It, it, you know, it, as I was talking to my friend about it, you know, it's, it, it's got to be, you know, the movie from 1997 that just killed me on watching movies. And that's Air Force One, which is an action thriller. So, that that is probably where thriller died for me i don't know i'm i'm joking obviously but but it really really uh, if, if a movie gets like oh this is a that's a great thriller chances are i'm probably not even gonna watch it you know and this is not only movies and you know especially books books same way if it be it, oh that's a good thriller you know chances are i probably will not read the book also with movies like like silence of the lambs i'll watch the movie I, I've, I've watched it like one time probably two at the very most but i can only really recall watching it once and uh i thought it was a fine movie it was it was good i mean this was way back in the 90s this is before air force one uh that i watched it the problem is is i think the reason i don't go back to revisit it is just because of i don't get hyped with like fbi stuff you know i'm not i don't like that kind of thing and so i think that's like one reason i, I never went back and revisited that movie so so yesterday i was like i'm going to see long Wolex tomorrow why don't i just pop in songs and lambs let's revisit it i think that the the, the character of hannibal is really cool and and to be honest you know i don't even really remember the movie entirely i mean i remember it, I, I remember it mostly from the memes that are shared today. So I'm like, you know, I got I got the DVD that I've never even watched. Let me pop it in. I threw it in the, the Xbox Series X. On top of the the fact that, you know, it, it, the, the screen is like this. I'm a big ass TV. You know, not only do you got the letterbox, yeah, that's fine, you know, whatever. You know, but you also got the, the fucking cut sides too. So not only that, but the fucking, the picture is like shaky. Like on the sides, it's like shaky and stuff stuff and, and and like grainy I'm, I'm like am i watching like a silent film i don't know it, it, it was um it was quite disappointing because i was i was like in the mood i was like i want to watch it and you know at this point you know it's not like i can well fuck it i'll go buy the i'll go buy the blu-ray you know i don't have time at this point right but this video is about long legs am i gonna like it let's find out i got my pop and i'm ready to watch long legs it is a, it's a hard review for me to do because like I stated earlier, it's really not my style of movie. Going into it, I already knew that, but you know, I was like, okay, we're doing this. Um, because like I mentioned, the marketing behind this movie has been phenomenal. The movie to me, unfortunately, is a lot of cookie cutter with garnishments of brilliance. It's a three star movie with five star performances. Micah Monroe, absolutely phenomenal. Her performance was amazing. Alicia Witt, her performance, outstanding. 
outstanding. Nick Cage, amazing. Just phenomenal. These performances are worth going to see this movie. There's something just missing with the movie. Uh, there's something that didn't... It's like eating spaghetti and something just just off and you you're like can't really figure out what it is because there's brilliance there and i'm not and i'm, I'm over talking about the five star acting roles because that is not in question here i'm just talking about the script there's that that meatball that's just kind of funky that's just a cookie cutter meatball Okay, and then the the sauce is just just what you want. If they would just gave me more of what I wanted, which was that quirky off kilterness of it, if they just kind of went stronger there, I would just I, I would be all about the movie. But unfortunately, just kind of okay. Like I stated, three pops out of five, five out of five. For the acting. What did you think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you think I feel that way because it's not my style of movie? Is this your style of movie and you feel the same way? Let me know. And as always, stay spooky and keep it disheveled.